Hello, Marta. My name is Michał Stępniewski. I'm the chairman of this commission together with my colleague, the Mr. Remigiusz Chlewicki and Mr. Adam Szczepanik. Nice Hello. to see you. And it would be Thank very nice to hear well. after all of the documents which you get. And uh, from the beginning, please, uh, about your presentation. You have five minutes and we will listen. Okay. Uh, again, hello everyone. My name is Marta Wittler and I am a 16-year-old student of the second grade of the Butter High School in Warsaw. I am in a bilingual class with a humanist profile. In my free time, I do kickboxing, uh, I do jogging, I like reading books, especially about history and about personal development. I've been a Girl Scout since the third grade of the primary school. I love to travel with my family and my friends, and I enjoy taking pictures outside. I am a member of a school's newspaper group, and I write articles, usually about books, <laughs> school's events, and specific subjects. For example, once I wrote about history of Hollywood. Together with my team, I design a uh, school's newspaper's website, and I am very enthusiastic about it. I am also a member of a volunteer circle in my school. For example, we recently organized a fair to raise money for refugees from Ukraine. And now I talk something, uh, tell, tell you something about my future. Like, um, okay, sorry, I'm very, I'm, 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 no, I'm everything okay, we have time. <laughs> yeah. uh, in different epochs of human history, there were special places and regions from which ways of approach, management and thinking inspired the rest of the world. From these places came values and ideas which uh, changed the world for the better. In past, these places were ancient Greece, ancient Rome and the European universities. In our time, this place, uh, okay, in, uh, either way, uh, in our time, Silicon Valley is such a place. It's the center of uh, companies, universities, institutions, solutions, products, training people, leaders, executives, who inspire the rest of the world and bring about changes that greatly affects our daily lives. Mm -hmm. Silicon Valley is a special place, such as a whole United States country, uh, which currently leads the world on economy, military, and technology fields. Companies based in Silicon Valley or more broadly in California are companies whose products, services and concepts we use every day, such as Apple, Google, Facebook or Microsoft. These are companies without whose services and support we cannot imagine our modern world. In addition, Stanford University is the place from practically uh, Every year, someone wins a Nobel Prize. It's amazing. And it shows that there are many creative and smart people serving for success. Uh, I really want my country to develop. And the differences between Poland and the most developed country be as small as possible. I would like to participate in it. Uh, as Gandhi said, I would like to be a change I want to see in the world. From as long as I can remember, uh, I want to be a lawyer. I dreamed about it. And uh, however, uh, my true goal is not only having a knowledge about law, uh, but to use it in my personal everyday life. I'm not sure whether I will be a professional lawyer, a manager, or an entrepreneur running my own business, but I know that the inspirations and experiences I can gain during this scholarship trip will really open my mass, mind, mind, sorry, sorry, I'm very stressed. <laughs> Once of my dad... Oh, I don't think it's okay, it's perfect. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> really? That's, you know, you can talk your really English fast. and everything is perfect, so, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, really, really, really. Uh, once one of my dad's friends said, uh, speci specialization is for insects. I know it sounds weird, but he said after that, and of course, uh, each of us can work really hard and became a specialist in something someday. But uh, during our education process and process of our personal developing, we should gain as much general knowledge as it's possible because we should you know, have an open mind, be open for challenges and um, be open and be able to keep up with a very dynamically changing world. 
I know that during my life, I can change several times uh, and very profoundly what I do and what I'm interested in. And I am very open and prepared for it. Based on books I read and conversations I've had so far, I know that one of the best things that can help me to prepare to my adult life, professionally, academically, uh, socially and publicly, is to go to a place like a Silicon Valley, Stanford University in California. I've been in California before, but at Stanford University, I only saw the buildings from the outside, uh, the huge football field, and the beautiful green uh, campus area. I only saw the headquarters uh, of the interesting companies, uh, taking myself pictures in front of the entrance gates. I was nine years old then. Now I hope that if the esteemed committee gives me a chance, I will be able to take a much closer look uh, at what I saw from afar as a little girl. I can also admit that when I think about my studies, I seriously take under the consideration studying in, at Stanford Law Uni, uh, at Stanford Law School. Uh, I really hope that the chance I would get to go on such a trip will help me to study more, work more, develop the right attitudes and habits, so that in my adult life I can do as much as possible for the community which in a function, which in a function, sorry, uh, for the old people around me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope that we will have opportunity not only for outside but also from inside to see the Stanford University. A little bit. I wish. But I was nine, so I don't remember. <laughs> okay, but maybe in the near future. Uh, Mr. Adam, please, the first question. Okay. Uh, first of all, finally a humanist. Very good for me. And yes. now, and you are like a, like a Lux Torpeda, slower, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But uh, now, seriously, uh, can you elaborate on uh, why do you think completing uh, studies at a foreign university would be a good opportunity for you? Mm, I um, I'm really interested in law. Uh, I, my plan for now is to go uh, to study in Poland and after that go to a, I don't know, faculty in uh, America to, or, sorry, to study uh, an international law. After that, I am ambitious and, <laughs> and I, know, I know I can do it. So yeah, that's my plan. And I think that going to America when I'm in high school and I have like my, Mm, much opportunities I can I can use this time really really well and I can you know decide now what I want to do in the future and when I have this op opportunity to go and convince myself about that I should try okay and so what opportunities do you hope to gain from your visit to Silicon Valley uh, you know I I know that I can do some, that I want to do something with uh, connecting with law in my future, but I don't know if I want to be, I, I said it before, a professional lawyer or maybe a manager or something like that. And law is not only uh, formulas and uh, you know, rules, uh, but only you, you have to be, have a big knowledge about economy, about uh, technology and this, this, uh, the scholarship trip will show me all of that. So I think that's that's awesome opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, I think I would like to know. Uh, what would you say is your biggest ac uh, accomplishment? Something that you are most proud of and can set you apart from other appli uh, applicants? Mm. One. Yes. <laughs> Let's start about one. Um, I am a person which don't stop after one success. So I think that I succeed. I I have really, really much. Re, re, I have loads of small success uh, successes, um, but I don't have a big one one success because I think that if I uh, have this one big success, I will, you know, like keep this success and stop to grow in on my, in my education. I, I, I know that I tried really, really hard to go to my school. I tried to have good grades and to, you know, train 
kickboxing because it's my passion and you know have a great balance between all of that and i you know i have really really small successes but i don't think i i have not yet not yet but i don't think i have a one big one success already okay thank you okay. one question mr Emigus, and one me okay. <laughs> because we have not so many time okay. mother thank you for an interesting presentation i wanted to ask you about your experience as scout what okay. uh, was this experience what it uh, brought to you to your life and to your you know development it's a really good question <laughs> um i was for seven years in one group and for uh, two years in another one group. For seven years, I was in Federal European Scouting. And this organization, it's uh, strictly for girls. So it helped me really much to uh, learn how to get a connection with other girls. Because sometimes it's really, it's really hard to have a good connection with a really big group of girls. I was in school which, uh, with, with girls, only with girls, no, not without uh, co-education. And, and it was a good experience to me and it, it helped me not only, um, it helped me to, you know, um, Hmm. On, only uh, one thing is cooperation with not only the girls but with people but the second thing it's like being a leader i know it can sound stupid but i i like to you know um, have control uh, on, uh, control over some situations and being a leader it's also a uh, and having the strength to uh, to you know be able to convince people to something or you know this this whole thing about uh, I said it before about co cooperation. It it helped me really much about being a leader because I I'm not a person which um, like either way. Um, Martha, I like nothing, to do there's things. Nothing, there's nothing wrong to be a leader. So I mean, <laughs> I, I, I think, think that's the, you I know, know the leader is very it's difficult fun. and it's not not so many very good leaders. Thank you for this answer and my last question. Uh, who or what is your greatest inspiration to learn new things in your life? Who or what is the greatest inspiration for you? Because you have many skills, many activities. Uh, where is this power? From who? <laughs> uh, in my essay, I wrote about President uh, Zelensky, uh, president of Ukraine. But he is like a, my new role model in life. But... Uh, always my role leaders were my parents my mom was a girl scout too my dad is a sport freak sometimes they are really pressing me with my education with uh, learning learning reading books so they are my leaders my my life leaders okay so congratulations for your parents for the great <laughs> yes, you know i have four siblings and i'm the best <laughs> <laughs> and I need to be an example for them. So okay, but thank you. We are listening to you and we know what you are talking. So once again, that's uh, our impression that congratulations for you and your parents. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the thank presentation you. and all the best. See you. Thank you very much. Have a nice afternoon. Have a nice day too. Thank you. Yeah.